It's pretty exciting, exploring ancient ruins like this. Glad you think so, because it's about to get grimy and gloomy. No problem. Don't forget, I grew up in a mining town. A little field work like this is nothing to me. Oh, okay, right. Well, uh, don't get too worked up either way. Sweet! My gut told me there'd be monsters down here. Can't wait to see how much better I do. See how much better I do. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Sweet enemies. Stay over with. was that? Likely a trap to deter would-be intruders. We should be wary of not only enemies, but tread carefully as well. Sweet! Sweet! 
There's another passage we can take here. I know not the exact locations of Levitator deposit. We have no choice but to search thoroughly while we descend. are just like the ones we saw at the shrine on Gelkolemthus. The records of all sites in the world engraved with such symbols can be traced all the way back to the ancient coil. Nina, your pendant. What? Whoa. Where did you get that? My dad gave it to me. I just assumed it was a good luck charm for Iatromancers. Do you know what it is, Uncle Midas? I am no Iatromancer. That is a question better asked of Marcus on your return to Delric. Hmm. Does this mean Dad and Dr. Eason have been here before? The three wise men have all visited this place. So, Nina, you are Filberto's daughter. Is he in good health? He passed away seven years ago. I see. Once the realm is at peace, there is something of your father's I would return to you. You are always welcome amongst the Trathen, Nina de Forge. Thank you, Lady Malkia. Target sighted. Sweet! Oh, it opens up a bit here. Let's see what this place has in store for us. Again. This looks like an iatric symbol. 
but different somehow. Um, have you ever seen anything like this where you come from? There's a practice called symbology back home. It's a lot like semiomancy. You know, I feel like I've seen something just like this a long time ago. What symbology? Um, well, basically, it's the technology that allows Elena to operate. Symbology? Wow! I wonder if we'll ever be able to make people from symbols one day? Don't get any wild ideas, okay? Yeah, I know, I know. What good is any technology we haven't developed ourselves? I just wish I could visit your world, Ray. See what it's really like. Don't get your hopes up. Oh, there are plenty already. Target sighted. Target sighted. Dead end, huh? Let's take another look around. There's so many traps down here, it's making my head spin. This place is sacred. It is not meant to be easily accessible. We are being tested to see if we are worthy. Then to get to the Levitas Ore, we'll just have to get past these trials one by one. Here we are. This is Levitas Ore. Oh, how pretty! Is this what we need to take back? If we hope to get any use out of the Folga, a deposit this minuscule will not serve in the slightest. Well, we'll just need to find a bigger vein then. Let's go. Thank you. Um, did you say something to Midas? managed to cross safely. We must remain vigilant as we delve deeper. Sighted. Let's 
Let's do it! Like this? Huh? Did we get turned around? No. There's more to explore ahead of us. Cool. So this is the real path then, huh? Alright. Let's do this. Position of the 
imminent. Whoa, Lady Malkia, is this all Levitas ore? Even I did not realize such a rich deposit existed. Hmm, if we mine this, we should easily procure the amount Melthia has envisioned for the Folga. Great! Let's head back and let her know right away! Ray, you've recorded a map of our route here, right? Uh... Huh? Nina, what's wrong? Hmm... There's another symbol there. Where? Detecting large symbol reaction. Detecting large symbol reaction. Uh, do we have to fight something else? No hostile entities detected. Detecting large symbol reaction. It's reacting to Nina's pendant. Does it hold some hidden danger? It doesn't feel dangerous. But this light sure is strange. If it is of no great import, let us accomplish what we set out to do. We should return to the surface. Malthea and I must sort out our excavation plan. You rang? We just found a motherload of Levitas ore. It was even enough to please Midas. Well done. Let us begin the excavation process straight away. I will oversee the excavation. It requires care. I shall have some of my own assist. Now, 
all that's left is to load it on our ship and head home. Got that right. Perfect timing. Leticia must have just gotten back. What's the latest, Elena? Ray, we have an emergency. Get up, Chloe. You have to follow Captain Bertrand. Quickly now! <gasps> Elena! Hey, whoa, what the hell's going on over there? I'm not completely sure myself, but something big is happening in the Royal City. Ray, Captain Bertrand just found us, and... Quickly now! My men will lead the way! The Royal City is currently on lockdown. It's chaos, Ray. Be careful when you return. Signing off. Hey! Elena! Elena! Did something happen? Something's going on in the Royal City. What? Are Leticia and the others all right? I... Uh, I'm not really sure. <sighs> Raymond! Nina! Something is not right! Malthea! What is it? A new ship has appeared on the shore, but I know not what to make of it. It is General Canis. He is ordering us to halt the excavation of Levitas or and surrender. Surrender? What does he mean by that? I have no idea. Whatever he intends, we had best head back to the settlement. Let's go, Ray! There you are, Director Melthea. I see you have brought Raymond Lawrence and Midas Felgreed. Then why must you impede our excavation of Levitas Ore? Did you learn to whine like that during your exile in the wild, Kerr? What? For the crimes of bringing Her Highness to the active war zone at Baldar, endangering her life, and for commandeering the King's personal navy, you lot stand accused of conspiring with Nilbeth to overthrow Osirius. What madness does he speak of? Have you no shame in your prattle of barren truths, Canis? Silence! Relent or be slain! You and these barbarians of Nilbeth. <laughs> I think it is plain who the barbarians are here. You shall regret those words. Have at them! Kill them all! Stay for a fight. Impossible! How could so few best us? <laughs> Who sent you? Why come hither with such poisonous intent against the Trathan? What reason have I to tell the likes of you? I know of many experiences in this world far worse than death. <laughs> you lot will never make it back to the Royal City anyway! What's that? Osirius will have a new ruler. Duke Clemrath has likely already crowned himself king. What in heavens are you talking about? Long has our kingdom trailed behind the ever-forward march of the Vale Empire, but no more. I have always thought you lot were foolish, but never this much so. What have you done with Leticia? Certainly even you can imagine what might become of the whelp of the erstwhile ruler. Elena. What is it, Ray? Elena's just gone offline. Her signal's been completely cut off. Elena... Damn it, Elena! Could she have suffered some damage? No. If she was hurt, she'd send a status report immediately. I think she was forced to shut down. Though I'm not sure why. Princess Leticia and the boy must be in danger. We gotta get back! Sorry, Malkia, but we'll need to leave the dig to you. Stay calm. You have no ship to bear you home. We'll just use the ship these jerks showed up on. I doubt threats will coerce them into taking us back. Damn it! We have to get back somehow. 
Why not fly back on this ridiculous airborne contraption I hear you have conceived? As if such impossible dreams could come to fruition. I will not suffer fools to... You dare to laugh at dreams, yet you cannot even perceive reality. Midas, what will become of the Folga now? It will likely be disposed of, never to be completed. That I will not allow. I suppose I have no choice but to use my secret art and send you back to Ascendros. You can do that? I would prefer not to, as it drains heavily from my vitality. But we have little choice otherwise. Listen well. If I am to do this, you must complete the Folga. It's a promise. What should we do? Call on me once you are well prepared. Once you depart, there shall be no return. Be ready for anything. successful, the royal family will surely be put to the axe. Thanks! Carefully. My work is complete. Shouldn't take two. All my work starting to pay off. This shouldn't take two. Not bad. This shouldn't take. Not bad. This shouldn't. Didn't take too long. Not bad. This shouldn't. Not bad. This shouldn't take. All oh, my work starting to pay off. This shouldn't. Shouldn't. Not bad. This shouldn't. Not bad. This shouldn't. Not bad. This shouldn't take. Not bad. This shouldn't.
ready to depart? Right then. Let us gather. What's that all about? I shall open the way. You may appear anywhere in Ascendros, and there is no telling what may occur ere you arrive. Be on guard. It will not hold for long! Quickly, jump through! Uh, we have to go in there? I, I hope it's safe. Malthea. Take care of matters here. Understood. Right then. Forward! In the heavens? Whoa. You guys look like you're in a bit of a jam. Hell, Baird! Chloe! Are you alright? I... It was Theo. He betrayed us. And Nayon. He was the one who coaxed the Duke into staging a coup d'etat. Nayon is an agent of the Empire. Are you serious? If not is done, her Highness and His Majesty will be executed! Boy, you will never let that come to pass. This old misfortune now serves as savior, both to you and your kingdom. Come, rise from your despair. You were born for knighthood, boy. Yes, my lady. No way! How could Theo do this? I cannot hope to fathom as to why. It might behoove us to fathom some and discover his reasoning. Definitely. How are you holding up, Chloe? Uh, I'm alright. But Leticia was suffering so much, I could hardly look at her. Neither could Theo. Alright everybody, here's the plan. Let's go help Leticia and the King. And we gotta find Elena too. Agreed. Of course we needs make a silent approach lest we raise the alarm and endanger Leticia and Elena. Do we still have time? I am certain a grand stage will be set for the execution. To sign I should much like to be in attendance. Perhaps they are privy to the whereabouts of Her Highness. <laughs> Target sighted. Drawing recklessly close will only see us captured. We must distance ourselves. Get it together, man. This is far from over. But why must we fight our own brethren? This was meant to be a bloodless conflict. Were the commanders and captains unaware? <sighs> you speak of Captain Bertrand. It feels unjust to raise my sword against the captain.
Target sighted. Why are we placing Commander Theo? Is everyone before? Target sighted. for a fight.
Dalby? What are you doing here? You haven't come to rescue her all alone, have you? Not alone! What have you say for yourself? Few of all people should be bothered least by the fall of the royal family. The fact, then, that I find this whole ruse to be utter lunacy should give you pause. Those three with the horns? They call themselves the Veer. As long as the Empire wields their power, the kingdom is doomed. My father was forced on this path because the Empire's strength is bolstered by their technology. You saw their otherworldly contraptions at Baldar, did you not? If we know of our enemy, there is no fight we cannot win. You know not what you speak of! Their strength is... Like something from another world? Huh. Got it. You. If only you never came, Letty would have been with Albi, safe and secure in Ada. Our life would have been spared. You fool! If Letty heard of a coup in the kingdom, do you truly believe she would have just cowered in safety? <clears throat> Leave it be, Albert. His difference to your years led to this conflict of allegiance between Leticia and his father. It was never meant to be as pure as the two of you. <clears throat> We're on our way to rescue Leticia, and we would sure appreciate your help. Are you asking me to betray you again? Damn it, Theo. If you're the same man I've looked up to all these years, you know what must be done! I'm no match for you, Albi. I do not believe news of my detainment has spread. If I accompany you, none will suspect a thing. You got a plan in mind? I can guide you to the execution site. Or rather, Albi should be able to guide you. You must go and save Letty. I will work to free Bertrand, and round up those knights who are not party to the coup. Alright, Theo, now you're talking. Any chance you know where Elena is? Don't tell me she's been. I am sorry. Neon used some strange bomb on her. She stopped drawing breath. I fear that... What the hell, man? Ugh, don't freak me out like that. Come again? <laughs> if she's just powered down, all we need to do is boot her back up. It'll be okay. In other words, Elena is definitely still alive. Truthfully? Anyway... Let's get moving to that passageway. We can make our way there from the northeast. Come. Huh. Is Castle Asarius filled with secret escape routes or something? This one is an old maintenance tunnel from days long past. About earlier, can we truly say whether Elena yet lives? She's okay. <laughs> All we need to do is just bring her back up. She's essentially just lost consciousness. Her limbs were destroyed, and now she has lost all faculties. Could she be well? I'm not sure, to be honest. For all we know, the Veer could have messed with her somehow. Do remember to where this lets out? Above the spire in the castle square. 
That's as close as you can get to Letty and his majesty. Bertrand and I shall lead a charge. Be ready and await our distraction. Afterwards, I will leave the rest to you. Now, leave Bertrand's liberation to me. You all should get to the execution site as swiftly as possible. It's okay. I know Theo's not lying. Very well. The passage has fallen into further disrepair since our youth. Be careful in there. <laughs> Elena! So she was shut down. They would burn them at the stake? I see many Knights of Vale have come to marvel at the cruel spectacle as well. They will not see us from this distance. We are further than imagined. Can't you throw your chakram at them, Elbaird? Even had I the range to reach, it would not save all three of them. We have no choice but to charge in. The odds of survival against so many are bleak. Such action is not recommended. Yeah, we know that! But we can't just sit here and do nothing. There is no time to mull this over. Letty! She has resolved to die. No! Good people of Osirius, I understand the frustrations of you many who know so little. But know that the current royal family has done nothing to stop the spread of Helgar's disease. Even now, as sickness spreads rampantly across our land, they would thrust us into war with the Vale Empire. The royal family has no regard for the hardships of their loyal subjects. We can suffer their covetous thirst for war not a moment longer. As of this day, the kingdom of Osirius is no more. The lands we stand upon are to be reborn anew as the glorious United Empire of Vale. We can no longer sacrifice our loyal knights and subjects to their war machine. Pray tell, are a single one of you aware who struck the first blow at Baldar? It was none other than the forces under the command of King Osirius himself. His Excellency, Emperor Baldor, has called for reconciliation between our nations. Yet Princess Leticia refuses his offer, as does her father, the king. If we stand by and allow them to rule, then we do not but fan the flames of war, sentencing countless of our own to needless death. By our actions here today, we bring peace. Damn it, I can't believe this! Though the odds be against us, we must act. Confound it! Nothing good ever comes from involvement with the royal family. <gasps> Wait! Theo! Today marks the dawn of a new dynasty headed by Duke Lumbert Clamrath. The past must burn! Stay your hand! Father, Chancellor Neon. I beseech you, leave the execution of His Majesty and Princess Leticia to me! <sighs> you bastards! I will not allow any of you to lay another finger on my little sister! Quite the valor. He is outnumbered. He will soon be overwhelmed. Okay. It's now or never. I'm gonna use the crowd to get to Elena. Wait, Ray! Is it possible for me to wake her up? What? It'll be too late by the time we reach her. But what if I fly in with Duma from here? From this far away? That's nuts. Not if we use this. In the hands of a skilled semiomancer, this ore is a catalyst for levitation. Are you up to the task? I'll do my best. Okay, Ray? Right. You've got this. 
Slap this on the back of Elena's head for three seconds. That's it. Duma, you stick close to Nina. Understood. Leave it to me. I'm going in. Nina, how? I'll tell you later. Helena! Ray's plan is too reckless by half. Your Majesty, are you all right? What? Yes. Uh, quit gawking! Kill them! Sir, we're under attack! What? Charge! Captain Birch! Alright, let's join the party! Please keep His Majesty safe. Understood. Sir Albert, know that what awaits. I am well aware. Loyal Knights of Osarius, follow after Her Highness, Leticia Osarius! I don't approve of the work that's been put forth upon me now, but I will say it. I intend to return your favor. What more motivation can one need to fight against evil itself? Time to head straight to it. Right with you. It is time this chaos was put to an end. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Lola, Neon, what are you two doing? Colonel Valange! Could that be? Oh, yup. Looks like this bastard's another one of the Veer helping the Empire. You stay out of this! The Princess's life is mine! Prepare to withdraw. Neon has lost control. Understood, Colonel. Wait! You would truly abandon us to this chaos? <laughs> you and the boy can see yourselves out of this mess. Blast it! We cannot let them get away! That is true. However, I doubt these two will simply let us pass. The orchestrators of the coup shall not be permitted to flee! Silence your tongue! You believe I shall sit idly by and let some pampered princess thwart my plans? Once and for all. Will not be put away here. I do not. Let this be your You know how that works out for you, horny face.
Neon, lay down your arms. Just what happened here? Looks like you've had a time of it. There were a few bumps we didn't account for. Well, you're the one who has to give the Emperor the bad news. Hey, what is this, coffee hour? Do you think you're actually gonna get away? Pardon me. We actually will be getting away this easily. This is not over yet. We have much to deal with here. Princess Leticia, I've shamed my name and post by allowing this. You have not to apologize for, Captain. Without your help, we could have never stopped Neon's plot. That may be true, but this Bedlam hasn't recovered in the slightest. Gosh, Uncle Midas. Always so quick to be a downer. But he speaks the truth. Should the Empire come calling, we will not last the night. We lack soldiers, officers, barely not on hand. Theo did help save Leticia's life. Can't you lighten his punishment? He was in league with the enemy, and harmed the royal family. I doubt many men should like to serve under his ilk. It was Theo and Neon who conspired at the laboratory on Mount Cotterinth as well. He is beyond pardon. That fool! Only our team from the Semiomancy Consortium is left uncrippled by this battle. If we have Semiomancers, what about using the Fulga? It was originally designed to be used by Semiomancers, right? Out of the question. Now isn't the time to be so stubborn. We do not have adequate time. You trust the Empire to sit idle while we sail a ship to Nilbeth? Retrieve the Levitas Ore, then return to construct a full Falga Battalion to be combat ready? How much time do you suppose that might take? I do not state this lightly. It will take three months at the very least just to get the number of Falga at hand airborne and ready for combat. Impossible, then. If Baldar moves to attack, we would not last three days. Leticia, tell me. What are these Folga you all now speak of? It is merely a foolish old dream. Pay it no heed. No. I truly feel it would be beneficial for Father and Captain Bertrand to see it. Director Malthea? Very well then. Please, let us all continue this conversation at the Semiomancy Consortium. Yeah. My bad. <laughs>